Hello everyone and welcome to another Division 2 video. Today we're going to be talking about the builds that we use for, op or for Operation Dark Hours and primarily, primarily the Weasel boss fight. Weasel, in my opinion, is the easiest boss fight um, as long as you have good coordination and good damage. Again, Dark Hours being a strong DPS focused raid, damage is key. We went over damage builds in the last video, so if you haven't checked those out, check out the Boomer video, um, and those will go more in-depth into the damage builds. I'll review them very quickly here, but this is the basic one. We start with our Coyotes mask because we want to uh, have three of these on our team at all times, and that get, put, boosts up our critical hit damage and critical hit chance. This is the basic one. If you're looking for, uh, if you're not running the Coyotes masks, we would have uh, something looking, um, let me find it, sorry. We would have something that looks like this, oops, sorry. Uh, we have something looking like this. Uh, this is if you're not running the Coyote's Mask. You could also have an Overlord piece here as well, giving you uh, extra damage to your M1A or your CQB. Always have Boomerang on that CQB, hitting harder, hitting better. All right. So um, those are the DPS builds. We also ha always have a Tardy chest piece DPS build as well. So three piece Providence with a Tardy um, in there to keep the team up. Um, I'm going to show you, I don't use it in the video, in the gameplay, but I'm going to show you my weasel build, um, so that you're, you, you can kind of see what's going on, right? So, um, this is my weasel build, um, with the addition of, uh, of the directive, uh, future initiative, this one here, you could probably run this and be solid and not take up another, um, another slot in your in your um, in your loadouts, um, increasing your ally skill damage by 15. percent I mean that's great. I mean that's huge. Um, and you're going to heal people faster. So you could use this here. Uh, this works very well. Or if you don't have those pieces yet because you haven't done Iron Horse, this is the build you want to run. Okay. So you have uh, hardwired four piece hardwired. We're getting our repair skills buff. We're using the feedback loop. Um, and we are using the Wyvern for skill damage. This could be, um, this doesn't need to be Wyvern. This could be something like Alps as well. But it, it, this is what I had for the Empathic Resolve. I don't need the skill damage. Um, but I, I have Empathic Resolve. And it was good rolls with skill haste. I can use it on other builds as well. This is why I have it, okay? I could use, um you know, a Hana Yu here or an Alps here as well. Either one works, okay? So, but I use the Wyvern because it's what I have, all right? So, but you, the most important thing here is using Empathic Resolve. Repairing an ally increases their total weapon and skill damage by 3 to 15% for 20 seconds and then 1 to 7% for yourself. That's key, boosting everyone's damage as you heal them in the room. You'll see what I mean by that in the gameplay when you're in the room, okay? You also have the BTSU gloves. This is for pulsing. This pulse is not the jammer pulse. This is the scanner pulse. And we're going to be overcharging it, right? So let's look at this. So overcharge, weakness exploit. You and your allies' damage is amplified by 15% to pulse targets, okay? So it, I don't do it in the gameplay because I was doing a clinic and I go very in-depth into how to do this fight. I don't show this because it's a little bit more advanced, right? Um, but I use my drone killer build, uh, as you can, you'll see that in the boomer fight video. You also I'll also talk about it in the Razorback video. But what I do here is I drop my hive as soon as you can see weasel come around the corner of the plane. Drop my hive, kill it. That overcharges with my BTSU gloves, pulse, and that gives the rest of the team damage, extra damage to Weasel, uh, uh, 25, you know, 15% damage to Weasel, and allows us to bring him down a little bit faster. It's, it's, I would call it advanced, um, but I don't like people when I'm doing clinics to re rely 
on a technique, right? I want them to do it basic. I want them to be able to do it. Say they nerf this. They've already nerfed the scanner pulses once. You know, there was that time period where everybody scanned in the stack and you could bring them down super quick, right? Well, they nerf that. If they nerf this weak point, weak weakness exploit at any time, you can still do it, right? I still know how to do the old school way. So when I'm doing raid clinics, I do not teach these methods. I teach the basic. This is how you get it done if you know you're just using your guns essentially right so this is a little bit more advanced so that's why i don't do it in the video um but i do go very in depth into that um now i just like in the last video i'm going to cut the jump discussing his his shield build again thank you very much to jump for allowing me to use his voice and video uh, talking about his shield build in this and um again if you've liked this video please like subscribe and ring that a bell for more content from myself and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much bye bye oh yeah so this is jumps uh weasel build and i can have him run through this now uh, but this gives him much more uh, armor health essentially go for it jump. okay yeah so um, still the same thing. I keep my flamethrower um, to keep any special ammo. Obviously, it's not needed, but if you're going to do, like, two builds, I suggest keeping your specialization the same. Um, obviously, the Liberty is still there. Um, weapons don't matter, right? So it doesn't matter what you've got on your back because you're really not going to use them. I keep my M1A so that when my side comes down, I think that's uh, dizzy. I, I get a couple shots in just to kind of you know, mitigate the long, the long time problem. But I've got the mask is a Emmett uh, Golan gear with uh, max uh, health on it. I've got skill haste on it and a little bit of hazard protection. That's just, again, what they came with. The same point man chest piece, a forge holster that gives you 10% shield health right off the bat. And mine has nine and at 9.9% skill haste on it. Um, just to help bring that shield back if it does break. The um, the other important piece to this build is a protector uh, backpack. Um, I've got as close to max armor as I could get there at the time. That was my role in my library. Um, but when your shield is damaged, so if you get hit at all, 5% bonus armor goes back. So I'm technically giving... Um, well, no, I'm sorry. You gain 5% bonus armor, so that's on me. And then all your other allies gain 15%. So instead of giving just 50, I'm giving 65% bonus armor for three seconds. And that keeps procking and procking because they've got chain guns that they're, they're shooting you with. Um, the gloves are motherly love gloves, and that gives me 20% skill health. Um, and it's nice. got status, gives status effects, but I haven't rolled this at all. Um, Thank you, Raider. And that is just to bring that shield health up, right? So your whole goal, if you're going to be tanky, you want to be able to take as much as you can so that the 7 can can do the damage. And the knee pads are another um, golden gear with max health. Uh, they've got repair skills on them. I actually need to roll this into something else, probably skill. Um, like I said, I haven't really touched this, um, but it's got it came with max armor. Um, that gives me 1% armor regen. Now, um, if I wanted to, to try to find another Golan piece, maybe a backpack would, would cap off the Golan gear, give me 5% more armor, which would kick off to, you know, half of that goes to my teammates, right? So I've got 1.4 million armor. They're all getting 700k of that once I proc that shield. If it's the big one or the small one, it doesn't matter. And um, the goal here for me when I'm running it is the plane, when you guys will see it, the plane will raise up and I stay into the left-hand corner um, to kind of give myself another area of protection because you got ads dropping, you've got two bigs, you've got you know your worst-case scenario. So you back yourself up a little bit and kind of drift down that corner so all that shield's taking the brunt of it, and uh, you can kind of give it a little bit more survivability on that on, on this. Cool. Yeah, so I'm you back. can see Jump's uh, um, shield has, uh, what is it? 16 million health um mm -hmm. pretty solid there so that's a lot all right uh so uh loco you can fast travel to me if you haven't already uh, i've okay. done it i'm here oh you got the you key. got it you, you got your key okay yes thank you no problem
Okay, so gentlemen, this is the uh, Weasel Ricochet uh, Dizzy fight. Um, this is probably the easiest fight in the raid, in my opinion. So, what we do is we do a seven and one, like you just heard Jump describing. So, Jump is going to go on the A side because he's got the shield and he's got the the uh, survivability. So he goes on the A side. Uh, the other, the rest of the team comes to the B side. Um, let's drop, we're gonna, I'm gonna hit the computer, we're all gonna go in, and then we can talk about it. Just don't hit a computer or anything once we're down there. Transfer um, complete. So once we go down... It's gonna take a few minutes. So the first thing we'll talk about is these computers up here. Just nobody touch them. So Dan, yeah, Loco, Spraza, if you wanna come up here, Spraza. Check out that plane. Right. So these are the three computers that how we start the ray or start this fight, right? So this, it's pretty self-explanatory, but this one here I'm standing next to is the front, the middle, and then the back, right? So right now you can see it's lit up green. It's in the back. Jump doesn't see that on his side. He doesn't know where it is. So I usually do this because I don't do much damage. So I have to tell Jump it's in the back, right? So uh, what we do is everyone stacks up uh, around the room. We can have a couple people, may, may, you know, two people here if they want, one person up here, um, and then the rest kind of huddle into this room back here. We huddle into this room um, because it allows everyone to benefit from the buffs. Uh, we can get each other up if someone goes down very easily. Uh, we stay contained, and plus no ads can get in behind us, right? So we start this fun fight by saying jump it's in the back we both um touch our correlating computer the rate the fight starts uh ricochet will jump out from these windows up here uh and vice dizzy will jump out from the windows on his side jump will essentially face tank uh dizzy which allows us um time to get ricochet down dead what we do is we get him down to um one armor bar and then we stop shooting him. Jump and I will switch the gases, which we'll talk about in a second. We'll switch the gases, and then we'll kill Ricochet. Okay, so, and then uh, Jump will, the plane will go up where the computers are. We'll raise. You can see these big cables around the computer, it, or around the uh, plane. It'll raise up. Jump will come over here. Like he was talking about, he likes to bring them over here and, and tank them so we can do the damage. When that when, when Ricochet dies, anyone that's out in this room retreats into the room back here with one shot. They find cover, okay? So if you're outside, you retreat into this room, <laughs> all right? We then will focus Dizzy. We'll get Dizzy down as quick as possible, and then we will focus Weasel, and we will kill him. The gases are is the really the only mechanic um, in the... Uh, in the raid and what happens is, is there's a purple gas and a gold or an orange yellow gas right purple gas um essentially takes away the damage you're going to do to uh with your weapons so the longer you're in the purple gas the less amount of damage you're going to do with your guns and you'll be able to see that the orange gas allows us to do normal damage um, but what they do do is they do do uh hazard damage or health damage to you so you need to keep your armor up at all times so you use your drones use your chem launchers whatever you're using to keep your armor up at all times because if you lose your armor you're probably dying pretty immediately because your health has been compromised um now we talked about how jump and i are going to switch the gases before ricochet dies the reason we do that is that it allows the team our, our D, the dps team to get a, another full phase in on Dizzy before the gas switches. So what's going to happen is when this fight starts, we're going to have orange gas on this side with Ricochet, right? We're going to switch it so we have purple gas, but in the first few seconds of purple gas, you're still doing normal damage, right? So every time, um, you know, so we're able to kill Ricochet, but Dizzy has now been affected by the gold gas, which allows us to do normal damage to dizzy okay so we can get him down and then by the time he'll come he'll start to move into this room following jump over in the corner and essentially by the time he gets into this corner 
he's going to be, uh, if the gas is going to switch again to gold gas, it we're going to be able to do normal damage, kill him, and then that puts Weasel in the gold gas as well, and we continue continue to do regular damage to Weasel. Um, and then we, if we don't get him down quick enough, we will fade into purple. We'll do as much damage as we can. If it gets too far, just stop shooting. You'll notice on your, your damage numbers, they'll be in the hundreds, right? So you'll start doing essentially no damage. We'll just wait for the gases to switch and then kill him. Um, just focus whichever boss we're focusing at that time. Um, the only time you really need to worry about the ads is if there's a sniper kind of wrecking havoc on the team or if a ad gets in the room with us. If someone sees an ad in the room with us, please call that out because the team needs to focus that ad and get it down as quick as possible. One ad in this room can wipe this fight. Okay, so that's why we back into this room to keep those ads at bay and keep everything in front of us. Okay, one gets behind us, we're in trouble. Okay, um, Robbie, thank you for answering that question. Um, and great. Any questions, guys? No, all good. No. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, you guys understand that the con the switching. Gases concept. I try to describe that the best I can. But... Okay, jump. It's in the back. You should let one of them do it. Yeah, I was gonna say let one of them do it. Yep. Okay. Sure. Uh, any volunteers? Loco. Loco. Great. Hey, before and good point. Um, the sticky bomb. Oh, so... the sticky. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah. the there's um. Riesel likes to shoot out these sticky bombs, right? So you'll see him uh, stop holding his gun every once in a while, and he kind of extends his arm, and he shoots a sticky bomb, just like the stickies that, you know, from Div, Div 1 that we just got, right, in, uh, in Div 2. He shoots you with it, it sticks to you, and it creates a large AOE um, explosion. Uh, it especially hurts the person that it sticks to, but it does a lot of damage to anybody around them. So what we suggest is if you have the sticky, you'll know it. You'll hear a beep, 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 right? Everybody around you will be able to see the, the, the circle of damage, so to speak, right? That's going to happen. It's better if, if you just stand still, right? If you have the sticky, stand still. There's nothing you can do to get rid of it, so just take it. It might kill you. It might, but just take it. Allow <laughs> everyone else to run away. There is a few seconds um, to be able to react and get away from it. Um, but if you start running one way, right, to try to get away from the team, the team doesn't know which way you're running, right? So you might all run in the same direction and kill everybody. So it's better if you just stay in still and everybody else runs away from you. What I do sometimes if I'm like, if I'm where Dan is and I get the sticky, right, I will, uh, I'll run into the, I'll dive into this back corner. Because this puts me, you know, everything at my back and doesn't allow anyone to get behind me. But it also keeps me away from everybody else. But that would be the only way or only area I would say that, because you can't really do that over here, right? So that would be the only area where I would say, you know, get, you know, that you would move instead of the rest of the team. The rest of the team still needs to move even if you dive. Like, say there's nobody up in this corner, right? Uh, and you're all huddled against this thing. You know, you could dive up here and be away from the rest of the team, but the rest of the team still needs to move, right? So, but it's better if you just stand still, let the rest of the team move. Um, it, it, it's a mechanic. You'll probably do it four or five times throughout the entire fight, but uh, there's nothing really much that we can do about it. Again, just keep your armor up so when that does happen, if you're next to it, it hopefully won't kill you. Uh, all right. Any um, any other things I should add? Nice to call, Robbie. Um, great. All right, so Loco, uh, if once you're ready, just tell Jump where it is and do a countdown. Yes, and back of the plane. Okay. At three, two, one, go. Perfect. And so here comes Ricochet. Toxic gas. Loco, do not shoot him. Loco, do not shoot him. Because you, you, we gotta, we gotta get the eye off of you, okay? Oh, there's armor. Yep. All right, All right stop. Loco, get ready. Get ready. In the middle. Let me know when you're there. Yep, I'm there. Yep. Three, two, one, push. All right, now kill Ricochet. 
Nice. Nicely done. Nicely done, everyone. All right, now everybody retreat into the room. Loco, Spot, Sparaza, get back here into the room. And everyone focus, Dizzy. I've dropped my heel hive back here, which should help keep everyone's armor up, but please call out your drones and anything else you got to keep your armor up as much as possible. And in the purple gas, I can I can get away with proccing that shield a little bit more. These grenades that are going to come in, if they come at you, just kind of dive away from them. There's not, they won't kill you, but enough of them will kill you. All right, I had the sticky, so I'm diving away. Wonderful. All right, there's armor again. All right, there you go, focus weasel. Oh God, look how much damage I'm doing RA. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to draw him away, but he doesn't... He, he yeah, doesn't we keep shooting, that, we're still doing decent down. damage. We probably won't get him down, but... I'll be close. Sorry, whoever's I'm from anybody's way over All here. Alright, now corner. stop shooting. We're not really doing any damage, so stop shooting. We're just gonna There's wait armor. for the gas to change, keep your armor up. Now shoot him and kill him. Alright, there we go. Now we're gonna focus ads. Oh! Yep, oh, somebody's got a sticky. Nice. Last yeah, second sticky. sticky. We're good, we're good. Alright, got uh, Ad in the room with us. Not sure I nice. got the sticky after he died, but I got one. 